Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a number puzzle. It says that there are six schools A, B, C, D, E, and F. Uh, they have a total of 2100 students. Now, in these schools, uh, certain conditions are given that each school has a distinct number of students which is more than 100. So all students have all schools have different number of students. Now, second point says for any group of schools. The average number of students in them is an integer. Now, this is a very important point to understand. If you understand this point, then only you can solve this question. Okay. For example, if we take schools A, C, D, F, the average number of students in these schools should be an integer. Okay. So, let us say if we take five schools right? A, B, C, D, E. So, their average should be an integer. Let us say that integer is K. Okay. So that means that A plus B plus C plus D plus E should be 5K multiple of 5. Okay, now A plus B, uh, total is 2100. Is 2100. So if you subtract this, we get F is equal to 2100 minus 5k okay now that this is an integer so this should be a multiple of 5 so all these values are multiples of 5 okay so that is one thing now second thing that is given to us is that uh, these are multiples of 5 similarly if we take any three combinations so if we take a plus b plus c that should be that sum should be a multiple of 3, right? So let us say it is m. So a plus b plus c is equal to 3m. So I have taken a plus b plus c, any combination if you take, let us say if you take d plus a plus e, that also should be a multiple of 3. So any combination if you take should be a multiple of 3. Now, for this also, let us take just an example, let us take 6 different numbers, okay? If I take total of these three, one, two, three, the total is six, which is a multiple of three, right? So you say it is fine. But if I say three, five, and six, so the total is 14, which is not a multiple of three, okay? So, but if you take all these numbers as multiples of three, suppose I took the numbers as three, six, 12, uh, 21, 24, and 33. Now, if you take any three numbers, 33, plus 3 36 that will be a multiple of 3 6 21 24 that will be a multiple of 3 so that means these totals are also multiples of 3 okay likewise if we take a combination of 4 that should come as a multiple of 4 okay so that means these numbers should also be a multiple of 4 so essentially basically what we have to do in this case is we have to have that all numbers should be a multiple of LCM of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 60. So, all these numbers A, B, C, D, E, F are multiples of 60. If you have understood this part, then only you can, uh, you will be able to solve this, right? If you, if you are able to figure this out. I have told you the reason also, right? So, if you take for 3, we took for 5, we took for 3, take a combination of 4, if you do not have all numbers as multiples of 4, suppose if I take any 4 numbers, okay, I take numbers as 2, 4, 6 and 10, add these numbers, we get 22, is it a multi, is the average a multiple of, uh, is an integer, no, but if all these numbers are multiples of 4, if we take the numbers as 8, 12, 24 and 16, okay, so add these, 24 and 36 60 the average is 15 so in that case it is a multiple of 4 so for that reason we need to take a num the numbers which are lcm of all these so that it will be a multiple of 5 also it will if we take any three numbers there will be multiple of 3 if we take any four numbers they will be multiple of 4 so for any group of we take any group, be it two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, five numbers, or six numbers, the average should always be an integer. Okay. So if you have got this part, now let us solve for this. Okay. 
so let me just erase this so we have six schools now it says schools a and e have students in the ratio 5 ratio 7 now these are multiples of 60 60 n now if you take multiple of 60 then you can get uh, 60 into 5 into 7 that is 300 and 420 one possibility is 300 and 420 okay that is a and uh, e that gives us uh, the rest I mean the total of the rest of the uh, is 1380 because total is 2100 okay so we can take 600 and 840 also why because it is 5 ratio 7 right it is a multiple of 60 that can be 60 into 2 also okay all right so in that case rest is 660 if we take three times that is 900 and 1260 so total itself is coming as 2160 which is not possible so we get these two possibilities okay now if we take let us say a plus uh, a and e as these rest is 660 right now all these are multiples of 60 so divide by 60 we get the rest as 11 in this case we get the rest as 11, uh, 23 okay now try to find out four numbers now each of them has a distinct number of students try to find four distinct numbers that add to 11 so we get only one possibility 1 2 3 5 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 11 that is the only four integers that you can add up to positive integers add to 11 now if you take this scenario then one of these schools will have 60 students which is not possible right so this case is also not possible so we have this thing that a and e we are sure of a we know 300 students and e we know 420 students right now rest is 23 that is 1380 we will for simplification let us take 23 and then we will multiply by 60 to get the values so we have to add four numbers that add to 23 also the condition given to us is the number of students in school c is equal to the sum of the number of students in schools b and d okay so let us start with that so if we say that uh, b and d in any order okay we are not given in what order so let us take any order right irrespective of and f total is 23 we cannot have one because more than 100 so more than 100 means at least 120 minimum minimum 120 means 2 we will start with 2 so 2 we cannot take 3 why we why cannot take 3 because 2 plus 3 will give us 5 so it is basically 60 into 5 this is 60 into 7 so we cannot take 3 so we can take 4 2 plus 4 is 6 6 6 so 6 6 12 f will be 11 right now the last statement says f does not have the highest number of students so this case is not possible we cannot take 2 and 5 we can take 2 and 6 2 6 is 8 8 8 16 16 plus 7 is 23 okay again 7 is already taken so not possible okay now next is 2 8 2 8 10 10 10 20 23 possible yes possible okay let us see if we can get more cases if we take 3 right one of them is 3 so uh, we cannot take beyond this right if we take 2 9 that will be 11 11 11 22 22 plus 1 23 now this is less than 100 okay so that is not possible now 3 with 3 we cannot take uh, uh, 4 because if we take 3 4 we will get 7 which is not possible we cannot take 3 5 also because 5 is already present so we can take 3 6 one possibility is 3 6 3 6 is 9 9 plus 9 18 18 plus 5 23 again not possible 3 7 is not possible 3 8 will also give us 11 right so that is also not possible now let us take 4 okay 4 plus 6 10 10 plus 10 20 okay 23 
then we have uh, 4 8 is not possible okay so we are getting only these possibilities right uh, so we get two unique possibilities so for c it is certain right so in both cases we see 10 so 10 into 60 that is 600 and for f it is 180 okay and b and d we can interchangeably have 2 and 8 basically 120 or 480 or 480 120 or we can also have 240 and 360 so we cannot determine for b and d but we can determine definitely determine for a c e and f okay so now let us answer the questions the first question is which school has the least number of students right so if you see this number uh, if you consider this case that smallest number is 120 which we do not know whether it is with b whether it is with d okay uh, if it consider this case then the smallest number is 180 which is with f so we cannot determine which school has the least number of students how many students are there in school f so irrespective of the case the number of students in school f is 180 what is the maximum number of students in a school so a maximum number is 600 in school c what is the average number of students in schools a c e and f so a c e and f we are sure of the number of students okay so e f is 600 1200 plus 300 is 1500 1500 divided by 4 is 375 so that is the solution to this set and the answers to the questions